On ABC Radio Melbourne, you're with John Fain. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was buying petrol and it was towards the later part of the evening and I couldn't help but notice that the great big petrol tanker that was filling up the tanks, the underground tanks at the petrol station where I was buying my petrol, was being operated by a woman, a woman, a female petrol tank driver. Lana Perry, she is one of that very rare breed of women <coughs> driving petrol trucks. Lana Perry, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Good how to you going? see you again. Yeah, you too. <laughs> now, tell me, how did you get into the business? Uh, into fuel tanking or into Linfox? Or fuel, no, tanking. Sorry, fuel tanking. Fuel um, tanking. I've been with Linfox for nearly seven years, and uh, my aim was to get to fuel because that's the... Top of the top, as I'm con- as I'm concerned with uh, the Linfox contracts. It's the elite, is it the not? The elite, yes, it is. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And so, how long have you been doing it now? Uh, so I've only been doing it for six months, uh, and I'm loving it. It's it's a really great uh, a really great job for me. I'm really enjoying the uh, the roster. We do a three week rotating roster, so we get days off during the week. We get days off in the weekend to spend with our families, and it works really well for me and my family. Now, you're not the only, but I think you were... Did you tell me you're the first woman to be driving petrol trucks in Australia? No, no. Uh, So there's two other women, and there have been a lot of women before us that have driven the petrol tankers. Uh, We have uh, Cindy, big shout-out to Cindy, and uh, also... I have to give a shout out to the women that work in the fuel tanking business. Um, So Cindy works for KSG, and they also have... uh, Now I've had a... A brain snap? Yeah, uh, Shelley. Okay, but you're still then a pretty rare example of the breed, it has to be said. Yes, Does it still raise eyebrows? certainly raised mine. (laughs) Uh, It does. uh, Mind you, driving trucks, uh, when people see women driving trucks, automatically they they take a double take or they'll have raised eyebrows and they'll be like, is is that really a woman driving that truck? I used to drive B-double tankers uh, driving uh, oil, like canola oil, MSR, and uh, I had one woman pull up next to me at the lights and I'm sitting there and she's she's trying to get my attention and I've looked down at her, she's wound her window down, she's like, you go, sister. And I was like, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, so it does it does raise a few eyebrows, but um, I'm very proud to be what I'm doing and um, really happy where I am at the moment. Was it a blokey culture when you first arrived? Uh, definitely, definitely. With, it's it's a male-dominated industry, transport. And, did the um, locker room pictures, the girly pictures, have to come down and all of those there changes? Were none, there were to none, to be honest. There were none, there okay. were none. And, and, and these guys are really, the guys that I work with are really supportive and... Uh, if I've got questions, I'll answer them, and they're not they're not sexist. I do have to knock before I go into the changing rooms. Uh, are you guys decent? <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I can't be um, I can't give them any more praise. They're they're really great to work with. The guys that I work with, very supportive. Uh, they've all got families as well, and and we just we just go to work, do our job, and and be safe, and go home to our families at the end of the day. Do we get to the point where this stuff doesn't become remarkable anymore? Uh, when we don't celebrate the the first woman DPP as we met this morning, and I know well, how like, great was that. Yeah, well, do we get to the point where that just doesn't even attract a headline anymore? Uh, I th- I think there will be a time when when that will happen, um, and I I love to encourage women um, that especially are, are looking at driving trucks. I, I I would encourage them to to follow that dream. Uh, it took me a long time to get here and um, a lot of hard work and a lot of support from my family um, to be where I am today and um, you, you can do it. Any woman can do this job and I think that the, the amount of women that are doing fuel tanker uh, work at the moment, um, it's not enough and and we're really good at our job and I'd encourage a lot of, a lot of other women that are thinking about truck driving, any kind of truck driving is to get into it. Are the women paid the same as the men? Because there are more and more stories yeah. all the time about where there's still a gap. Pay equality. Yeah. It, it's, we're all paid the same across the board. We're, we're paid the same. I know with Linfox that, that, that we are. I mean, it's astonishing in this day and age that there are still industries where women we're, are paid less than men to do exactly the same job. I agree. And, and I'm not, I'm not uh, being rude to, our, to the uh, men that I work with, but... We, um, I guarantee you that we would do the same job, if not better. 
Are there women bosses in logistics now? In logistics, yes, there are. There are. And so that starts to filter through as well. North or South Island, Lana? North Island. <laughs> Couldn't help it. <laughs> so how long have you been in Australia? I've been in Australia since 2008. Just the other day. Just the other day. <laughs> well, it obviously so Look, congratulations. Thank you very much. And congratulations to your whole team and to the employer as well. It's a remarkable thing that it's remarkable in a way, and we'll get to the stage, I'm sure we'll get to the stage where it no longer is remarkable. And that's fine. And that will be remarkable too. Yeah. Thanks, Lana. Thank you very much, John. I'll let you get back to the trucks. Lana Perry, petrol tanker driver, who I met the other night when she was filling up the underground petrol tanks at the petrol station where I was just filling up my little car. So there you go.